What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Rising Steel video. Uh, once again, opening up the game right as I start recording. Oh, good thing I didn't actually do the login, so that stopped the, uh... I should actually think about doing that from now on. Just don't log into the game before the banners go live, so we can see the animations for sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna look at the animations for UGO and TSA, and then we're gonna go over the units. And do some summons, of course. Oh, it's what he does against Berkuli. Okay, that's cool. Obviously, it's a little silly because he's not actually like the enemy is just kind of standing there. But of course, you can't have like a special animation for every type of enemy we'd be fighting. There we go. Breezy smile, Yu-Gi-Oh. Are you really okay with going out with me on your vacation? For those who can't tell, and, you know, for those who don't care for ships, that's fine. But these units are obviously meant as, like, you know, uh, couple units. You know, with UGO and TSA basically being one. If you're not a fan of that, then that's up to you. But that is what Bandai went with with these units. I guess the only real downside is that it is another wind UGO, considering we literally just got one with his Integrity Knight version. I feel like her animation, it, it's okay, but I feel like it's not as cool um, as UGO's, but that's all right. We have, we have quite a number of TSAs in the game already. By the way, once again reiterating, I am going to keep calling her TSA because it's just what I've gotten used to saying, forcing myself to say T's every time. Uh, just got annoying. So if it offends you that I say it that way, I apologize. Um, and then she's like, yeah, UGO, did I keep you waiting long? So very, very cool. You know, they're mirroring each other's images. They're clearly on a, well, they call it a vacation, but, but it's a date. It's definitely a date. Um, okay. So there is an event with this, which I am glad to see. So let's, before we hop over to the banner itself, let's take a look at what's in the uh, event itself. Um, where is the... Okay, it's down here. So it looks like there's going to be some new Imaginarium here, some Wind Imaginarium, which is pretty cool. We'll look at that in the shop before we uh, head over to the banner. Okay, so it looks like this little pie is their little access... Or not accessory, but currency for this. Looks like there is a... Water. Okay. It's an event for, like, all wind stuff. Unless this... Uh, unless the, like, young version of her, um, and it looks like the story for this event might be about the young version of her, um, maybe that's a water unit? No, she's fire, so why, okay, well, whatever, we get free water, uh, accessory, which is, uh, water elemental MP plus three percent, all right, cool, um, so yeah, we got imaginary, we got more crystals, we got all the good stuff in here, so there's that. Let's head over to the banner. We're going to look at these units. Um, let's actually get this out of the way first. Hopefully this doesn't shaft my luck. I just realized there's no sound playing. For uh, I just looked over at my stuff and there is literally no sound playing. Because, nope, the sound is on. So uh, we're going to redo this. Hold on. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, for whatever reason, there was no sound playing. It's not the biggest deal. I'm not going to scrap the video because of that, because all the stuff we went through, uh, it's not as big of a deal. I guess the animations would have been cool to see with sound, but it is what it is. Uh, sometimes these, is these issues happen, I guess. So yeah, we're going to hop into this. Hopefully this doesn't chaff me like uh, it did that one time. But uh, I haven't been getting anything on these anyway. We'll just skip the animation in general. Yep, that's fine. All right, so here we do. By the way, I do want to mention, I mentioned it on Twitter because I posted my little clip of me using it. I did end up, by, it, you won't see it here anymore, but I did buy the uh, the like $20 ticket because at first when I looked at those uh, sale things, we're not going to grab it here. I haven't grabbed the character one yet. I might grab it before it goes away. But I thought it was just the ticket. I didn't know it came with gems also and people were complaining that it was like you know it was scummy you know you just get a character but 
you almost get two multis and a select character for 40 bucks. That's really good for, for the price of two multis, basically. That's a really good deal. And then it's like one multi and a select weapon ticket for $20. That That's a steal. That That's, you know, if you can spend any kind of money, the, these are the kinds of things that you want to spend on for this guaranteed stuff. So what I did end up grabbing was Sinon's original gun. Because since I pulled the Ordinal Scale Sinon, I did not have a four-star gun for her to use. So I wanted to make sure I had one. So I went ahead and grabbed that. It was either that or I grabbed a mace for um, Liz. But so I went with the I went with the gun instead because guns will probably be a lot harder to get later on. All right, enough about that. Let's go over the banner here. So we have a UGO and a TSA, both wind units. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people say they've been needing wind units, and I, honestly, I'm in the same boat. Before we go over the units, actually, I know I keep doing this, but <laughs> I just want to kind of go over my account real quick. So as out of everything, I'd say wind is what I'm lacking the most, because if you look here, I only have four summonable wind units. Three of them are at 100. It's uh, Renly, Leafa, Cardinal, and then my fourth one is that Asuna over there. And then if we just go over to my other colors, Dark, I'm fine. Light, I'm fine. Even water. What water? We have four. So water and wind are kind of tied right now. So if the next banner does end up being water, um, that's probably where I'll have some trouble. I We're also four here. Um, so earth as well. Fire, we have four as well. Actually, we, a lot of things only have four. And non-elemental, we, we did really well with this last banner. We have, what, five now? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, we have four as well. So it looks like we just have a four, four of everything except for... Uh, I thought I had more of a lot of the other ones. So pretty much I can use any colors except for light and dark. So just skip. If we get a straight light or a straight dark banner after this, uh, definitely giving it a... That's why I didn't really go in on this banner uh, right here. I, I did step one. I think I did the half step up on the Asuna just because I did. I kind of wanted an Alfheim Asuna, but obviously I did not pull her. All right, enough enough uh, talking about other side stuff. Let's go over the banner and everything real quick. Before we look at any of their stats, let's see where the new banner cutoff is, if there's anything changed. Nope, it's still the, uh, the Asuna and Sinon. So uh, we're still at the same point. They haven't had anyone else. Wait, why are we back at news? Okay. Um, okay, so first step is obviously three free as usual, and these are increased rates again. Um, I think. Oh no, is it regular rates again? They posted on their Twitter thing that it was increased rates, but I guess it's just back to being a normal banner. Hold on. I could have sworn I read on their Twitter post that it was... Oh, no, I guess it's just regular rates again. Okay, so I guess this isn't part of the celebration anymore. It's just regular. All right, that's a little disappointing. A lot of us were kind of hoping that afterwards, uh, after the celebration, they would still keep the increased rates because that'd be kind of nice, but oh well. Um, and it is nice to see that it's still a free multi with the first step. So either they're doing these free multis because of the COVID situation... Or this is just the new norm with the start. Like, they may still, like, do the half off with these. Like, the Yuki banner, how it's, like, uh, you know, 11 scout is 125. But I think for the first time on brand new banners, we may just always have uh, the first step being free. All right, let's go over the units now. Um, all right, so they're both debuff units, which is pretty cool. I do like to see more debuff units. But let's see what they actually do. So, UGO is a charge unit. Slash attack strong and single enemy. Lowers physical resistance by 20% for one turn. And current charge 20%. Um, I do like the lowering physical resistance. That's pretty nice. Vorpal destruction. Slash attack extra strong on single enemy. Deals additional damage on enemies inflicted with physical resistance or magic resistance debuff. So, you want to start with charge. Then go to Vorpal uh, for your assault. And then quick, well, actually, you'll probably start with the debuff. Quick and Feebler Earth lowers physical resistance and magic resistance for a single enemy by 10% for one turn. Also lowers defense and magic defense by 10% for two turns when the enemy is Earth Elemental. Short wait time after using skill. So once again, it has a general debuff. 
Um, which is not, man, I wish Alice didn't get shafted with that, the Alice that I have, where she only is the specific type element, uh, debuff, but oh well. Um, I do like that these units are kind of getting the double purpose ones, like, yes, you can use it on any enemy, but it's really gonna have its effectiveness when you're going against the correct type. And then Blue Rose Sword of Blooming Life, uh, incarnate slash attack on all enemies, Oh, so he has another... That's kind of funny. I don't... I never really checked out his Integrity Knight version. I assume it's just a single target attack for uh, that Incarnate. But, um... But, yeah. Okay, so absorbs HP from affected enemy and deals added damage on enemies inflicted with... Okay, with the debuffs. Okay. So, yeah. So, pretty much... It, He's, he's a very solid unit. Like, I think out of the... I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll go over TSA here in a second, but I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of my goal here, mainly because I do want more male characters because I feel like in the future they will have more of those kind of objectives for specific events where they're like, complete this event with an all-male team, which is kind of hard to do right now when uh, there's only a few male characters even in the game with four stars. But uh, let's go over TSA and then let's go ahead and let's do our summons. Uh, okay, so she is, I assume she's just a break version of, um, of him. Maybe a little different. Uh, it seems like maybe a little different. So, Magitek strong on all enemies. Okay, so she is an attack all with her break, which is nice. Increases Incarnate Break when enemies are inflicted with physical resistance or magic resistance debuff. Incarnate Break 50%, so using them together is definitely something that will really help out. Or you could just use, uh, her debuff there. You know, use debuff and then go straight into your break if you need to start breaking. Uh, her assault is magic attack extra strong on single enemy and inflicts wind continuous damage for three turns. So that's pretty nice there. Um, and it looks oh she, yeah she's literally she's literally the same thing. Their debuff does the exact same thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I wasn't really expecting anything anything else. And then her incarnate skill, Winds of Noble Justice, which we just saw. Incarnate magic attack on all enemies. Additional magic attack on single enemy. Incarnate break, 25%. Uh, so pretty cool there. Um, oh, and she gets that incarnate break, which is very, very nice. I'll definitely take that. Um, yeah, I think I just want the Yu-Gi-Oh! more. I think for Wind, I really just want another charge unit because I have... I have Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I do I do have the Asuna, the wind one, but I, I really don't use her that much. I feel like she's not, like, that great of a unit, so I really just haven't gone with her that much. And for break... Honestly, I could take either one. Either one would be great, because my only wind break unit is Renly, so having another break unit would definitely be nice. But I also really just want... I don't want another rapier unit, if I'm being totally honest, so... I think I am going to go all five steps into this, but for right now, since we only have enough to go through three steps, that's what this video will be for. Um, I might do the last two. Let's see how this goes, because honestly, if I pull Yu-Gi-Oh! or uh, TSA on the first step, I'm just going to call it there. You know, if I can get one of them, then we're good. But uh, since rates are back to normal, I am not expecting any kind of miracles here. So let's hop in. Let's see how it goes. Not expecting anything fan. I, I can't remember the last time a free pull. I mean, we've obviously had it happen before. But uh, it's been a good while since we got a free pull that actually gave us uh, the unit itself. It's looking like our free pull this time is not going to be that nice. We'll see, though. You know, they could always surprise us. Animation doesn't always guarantee everything. Okay. I mean, if they're not going to give me a uh, four star, you know, three stars are definitely welcome. Get those extra crystals when I can. I think that's our final one. Nope, I miscounted by a lot, actually. This should be our last one. Yep, pretty much what I expected for the first one, but that's all right. Maybe step two or three can bring us a little bit of luck. And if not, you know... 
I'm used to it at this point uh, to going to step five, but we'll see. I would love to be surprised one of these times on like step two or three, just get the unit I want so I can stop right there. But uh, we'll see. Man, I just, I never get the good animations except for step five. Early game, I used to get them all the time. I don't know what happened to my luck. But, uh, you know, I guess uh, my luck is just gone forever at this point. I'd like to at least get something good in this video so it doesn't feel like a complete waste. Aw, oh, it stayed at the white screen for a second. I was getting kind of hopeful. See, it's do even though it's a two star, it's like staying there for a second. And that should be our featured unit. Okay. Oh, nope. Or not featured, but final. That should be our final one. I don't know what's going on with my luck here, but uh, looks like it's going to be another one of those banners where we like, have to go all the way to step five to get something. And even then, it might not even be one of the uh, featured units, but it is what it is. I end I honestly, I can't really complain. My last banner, I got really lucky. Even though it was increased rates, I did end up walking away with Sugu and Sinon. Uh... Man, come on, give me more orbs in that damn thing. Seriously? Okay. There's hope. It changed a little bit. You know, this is just gonna give me anxiety. Please don't tell me that's the only one. That's the only one. Okay, well, <laughs> at least we got a dupe for Eldry. Uh, no! All right, well, I can't complain that it's not going to give me at least more than one four-star before step five, though, so I guess I'll take that. Okay, there's probably going to be a weird cut in this video somewhere. I have no idea where I'm going to put it yet, but I still had some pretty good sales in the shop, so I went ahead and bought the last two multis to kind of finish this off, because it just seems silly not to, since I was going to buy these anyway. Uh, I may as well include them in the video instead of just doing them off camera. So we're going to do these last two steps, quite, kind of a longer video. Uh, I, I don't know if the part I mentioned that where it was in the video, whatever. The video will come out how it comes out. Um, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to do these last two steps and hopefully walk away with either Yu-Gi-Oh! or uh, TSA. So let's uh, make sure I'm on the right thing. Yep, step four. Okay. I don't want to accidentally do a multi on the wrong banner or something. I kind of wanted to do this now because I wanted to start stockpiling again instead of spending the next, like, week and a half uh, or so basically stockpiling. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm expecting step four to be dead, and then hopefully step five can give us one of the two. Yeah, I think we'll just skip this animation. Yep, definitely worth it. I, I mean, this video is already long enough, so I just want—I want to knock this out as quick as possible. So this will be our guaranteed step. Hopefully, I, I'm praying for UGO, but I will take UGO or TSA. I will not complain about either one. I—I um, I bought the free-to-play four-star rapier, so I do have that I can use for TSA if uh, we end up getting her. Man, even on the guaranteed step, we don't get a guaranteed animation. And we just get a blue door. Wow. All right. All right I'm going to count the units in case we get a four-star early. So one. Okay. Two. It, like, froze there for a second. I thought we might have gotten lucky. Three. I, I, I'm, I'm getting this feeling. I'm getting the feeling it's going to be an unfeatured. What is that? Four or five? I have this really bad feeling. Please don't do it. I think there's two more. Yes! Okay. Wait, I don't think that's the final one. Unless I'm just completely miscount. I don't think we counted 11. We might have. Ooh. 
Man, I would have felt so bad if I did. <laughs> I mean, that that's the nature of the gacha games. If you put money in, you're just like, oh, I got shafted. That was a waste of however much money I just spent. All right, we'll definitely take that. Oh, I guess I, I can't count, apparently. Definitely screenshotting that, so I will definitely take that. I don't even actually know, because I just spent... Uh, who did I fully limit break? I spent my rainbow shards to limit break someone last night, but I can't even remember who it was. Um, Who the heck was it? I think it was Sinon. I think Sinon I, uh, I maxed. Yeah, it was Sinon that I did it for Mac last night. But let's see. Finally, my second UGO. What do we got here? So we only have enough for two limit breaks right now. Um, but we'll get fi so three after the event, I assume. Sorry, I know this video is already super long, but I want to check the event shop real quick. Please tell me there's at least some. Is there no wind? Oh, that's. I hate when they do this. And of course, they. They need to. It doesn't matter. It, it really shouldn't matter. 50 crystals minimum per event. It doesn't matter what's in the event shop. Oh, well. Looks like uh, UGO is going to be stuck at level 90 for quite a little bit, but that's all right. Um, I guess. I, I would assume. Oh, well, actually. I did buy the the one pack I bought had the evolution crystal, so I can at least uh Hopefully there's some wind ones in here I haven't grabbed. Um yep. Alright, so what we we'll have three we have three limit breaks. So now I'm just a few wind crystals short of being able to fully limit break them. So probably in the next week or so, I assume, within the free polls or whatever. I'll uh, definitely be able to get that done. But now, for sure, that's the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. I'm so happy with what I got. Let me know what you guys got down below if you did any summons. Now I can go back to stockpiling for probably the next water banner. I think will probably be the next thing since I'll be able to fully limit break whoever it's going to be. But uh, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.